Hello there, and welcome back to Definitely Not Developer Commentary. My name is Mike Stout. I'm Tony Garcia. And we are back. Yeah. We just finished the desert mining planet. Didn't get the lorbs, sadly. No. Uh, but that that is not for this playthrough. Oh, we got some nefarious. What? You hear that? Destroying lies. Dirty, filthy lies. They say this dimension is unstable. We're being sucked into a formless void. False. Think otherwise? I order you to throw your eyes into the local incinerator because they are clearly malfunctioning. <laughs> More importantly, the Lombax vandals have not escape. How could they if... Uh, I haven't even caught them yet, huh? You morons! Here. You want some truth? My Lombax bounty is now 27 squajillion Naparabox. Just look at it all. So big, so real, <laughs> so totally not made up. And... <laughs> It can all be yours when you catch those stupid Lombaxes! Your Nefarious seems as obscenely awful as ours. Yeah, he's... something else. <laughs> Alright, what do we got? We uh, got... Alright, so we got Continue, continue the Rivet face or Continue the Ratchet Adventure. Uh, let's do... Uh, so, Torin 4, that's... Uh, that's the Fixer. The fixer. That's a cool one. Let's do that one. I right. wonder how rivets do. At least this mission will be a straightforward one. Huh. Good. I don't know about your dimension, but out here things never go according to plan. Improvisation is a skill you learn very fast. I also have a talent for improvisation. Well, I can't wait to see you in action. Does Clank have a talent for improvisation, though? <laughs> Let's get some phase courts repaired. I do think pairing Ratchet with the remorseless killing machine robot <laughs> is the better pairing for him. Uh, oh, and let's see, as is tradition, let's do one more switch of the visuals uh, without ray tracing. We haven't done one without right, ray tracing. Let's see how this so let's looks. See, let's see if we can tell it, notice a difference uh, on this one. Yeah, the shiny still looks shiny. The shiny still looks shiny. You just don't see, the, I, I mean, we're, we don't see any like super metallic. Uh, I don't know if there was, I really was reflections there before, but this isn't one of those technical streams where we nitpick like crazy but i know people Side wanted us to... yeah i know people wanted us to react so i figured we could at least make the switch and if we notice anything god this looks so much better to me the, uh, the 60 fps yeah i can't see the ray tracing difference i mean maybe so we, so we are taking some small breaks uh between uh, you know what you can probably i imagine if you tell anywhere it's on the on the yeah show, that's right? good that's a good point maybe switch and see that's if we can see Let's just go to Fidelity. Let's get some phase courts repaired. Okay, it even on the ground uh, where you were standing. Yeah, you, like you can just see the reflection on that ship so looks so. Look at look at how the oh, light yeah. reflection looks like on that ship, yeah. right? Because um, normally, the way we do that effect is you would just like paint. That yeah, I mean that's that, that's an easy way to do it, but uh. Okay, so yeah, let's leave the ray tracing on because it looks really good. Oh, you want so you want to leave the ray let's tracing on? Let's get some phase okay. courts repaired. Uh, on, on. Yeah. I hope yeah. the fixer is as good as the Mort say But he still, is. 60 hertz. Yes, I hope so too. I think that's my preference. So, would you recommend people play this game on 60 hertz? I think so. I mean, uh, I mean, if you're like Tony and you can't tell the difference, or at least yeah, not so much. If right, it, yeah. like it, it, it's not constantly and like i said you know when i've been watching it for a while i got used to it 
Uh -huh. But I can definitely tell the difference when you switch. And I think I would prefer to have 60 hertz over like slightly better looking visuals because they look really good anyway. Yeah, it's not like we switched to performance mode and I can be like, oh, this grass looks terrible now. And blah, right. blah, blah. like, I, I don't see any of that. Yeah, I'm sure there are people who, who can and who are much better qualified than we are to tell you about it. Uh, so, you know, feel free to, to look up those comparison videos. But what we'll, we'll try to bring you a different brand of entertainment focused more around our peculiar perspective on things rather than on just raw technical data. Hey, look at that. Oh, look at that. Bolt. Shiny. I think one of the things I really like about the new Gold Bolt getting animations is both Ratchet and Rivet seem much more aware that there's a camera. <laughs> right? Like, they're both mugging it up for the camera. And uh, uh, we didn't really do that before like the camera would kind of move around and ratchet would just do ratchet's yeah. thing pardon me does anyone here know where we can find the fixer guess they're being cautious trying to get stuck under the collision when i was playing i was getting stuck on all kinds of collisions. yeah oh there's a bug oh a literal bug is it bugging out Looks like it. If I were a fixer, where would I be? Fixing things, I suspect. Yes. Oh, I got an infobot too. I'm just racking up the secrets right wow. here. Oh yeah, those are lorbs too, aren't they? So off camera, I did some raritanium upgrades, and uh, I'm now short on raritanium. So, gotta pick up some more raritanium. Let's see if I can pick some up while we're here. I I like that they kept this uh, magnet jumping thing from into the Nexus. It's got a satisfying kind of like, like just the way they do the gravity when you when you jump to where your reticle yeah. is. Yeah. I just I really liked it in that game, so I'm glad they brought it back. Oh, that's hurty water. At oh. least you didn't immediately die in this it. This isn't where I'm supposed to be. This is just for the secret, I guess. Okay. Yeah, I think the critical path was like down the main street of that town. Yeah, let's just put the marker on there. Oh, well, there's Mrs. Zircon. Fortunately, I got no more bolts. There's some crates over on the right. Fancy a shave. Oh, the buzz blades. Never change. Blade, blade, gun. Never change. Yes. That's the Oh, that stuff looks right very there. cool. That, yeah. It's the Ninja Stars. Yeah. Yeah. They move very fast, though. Yeah. Wow, okay. Uh, I do not have nearly enough money for that. I'm going to have to do some arena farming. We're passing hate now! New tourists? Oh, welcome to the jewel of our galaxy. The Please, jewel. enjoy yourselves. Do you know Malinov means paradise in Junkish? This guy looks like a Star Wars hmm. character. He really does. Is yeah. Fixer on this planet? He most definitely is! Great guy, the best, and single, if I'm sure. <laughs> we were told that he can fix phase quartz. Phase quartz, blaze quartz, any quartz, anything! But, uh... We've been having trouble with pirates, so we asked him to help because, you know, he's a big guy. But after a few days of totally crushing them, he just, uh, broke. Hmm. Perhaps we could fix him. You two look like you could straighten him out in a Molinov minute. 
But the path to him was destroyed in the last pirate raid, so you'll need a hurl shot. Oh, and I saw one in the smelting pits further ahead. A Lucky hurl you. shot. Well, I like the sound of it. Yeah. So, I think it's exactly what it or says or on the tin. You and Ratchet going to the Lombax dimension? It is possible, but Ratchet is uncertain. Perhaps he is afraid that. Wait, afraid? Why afraid? It is complicated. Huh. Well, hey, if, if he doesn't want to go, I will. All right, Agents of Doom. Let's see, that's done. This thing's working. Oh, wow. They just scaled that wall. They just did? Oh, wow. They're not messing around. There's something up here? I can't even get up there. See, having played as much Crash, like I was like, oh, we'll just jump on that box and that'll spring <laughs> you right up. Nope, that's not how this game works. You know, that was something I wasn't anticipating. Uh, in working on Crash as opposed to Ratchet was like, in Crash, the crates are critical path. <laughs> and they're so not critical path in Ratchet. Like, they're, they're bustables and currency, right? They're not the thing that you need in order to get through the level. Right. And we don't count them up <laughs> afterwards. So yeah, that was, uh, that was new. Because I, I don't think besides that, I've ever worked in a game where the breakables were so critical important. path blockers, yeah. yeah. The I mean, usually the crates are like, oh, somebody made some breakables and they, you know, set up a system so that they'll all fall and do everything you want them to. Yeah. Easy to place, whatever. Then uh, uh, in Crash, though, we, ne we need someone, like, the whole time right. doing crates because they're varied and important. thrilled about the name either but we <laughs> must find one at the smelting pits i'm not thrilled about the name yeah i'm with you clank oh wait no that wasn't right no, you were right broken rail ahead whoa wait. that point of view Melting pit is a curious place for a hurt shot so. to be. I'm guessing it has something to do with them all getting recalled recently. Her jump on something the grind switch spines? has a really good weight to it. Oh, like it dear. just feels really good to actually land. Oh yeah. Smooth. There's like that that little hang time for a second and There's then the rip. smack. Yeah. Like a magnet almost. Oh look at that. that huh? Very impressive. They keep coming. Oh, that's cool. This rail system yep. seems exceedingly dangerous. This is wow. This is really cool. I really like that. I am afraid we may end up in a smelting pit. That was that was a very good traversal section. Yeah, a lot of fun. Did Ruby just say there would be cake? Cause I want cake. I have some cake. Ooh. Though I don't think anything that you can eat. Oh, that's sad. It's got the glutens in it. Yeah, I believe it does. Let us plunder like mad and go break back for the fixer is all but done. Look here, mateys. This looks useful. In fact, I have a notion that it be crucial. It seems fate has brought us together yeah. again. Ma petite rivet. Guess fate really loves seeing you get your butt kicked, Pierre. Ah! You pirate mateys! Attack! Oh dear, the pirate 
turrets are waiting for scrap. Oh, they got shields. Shot. What? Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Because we were never able. We to were do never shields. allowed to do shields. What is this? It's it's difficult to do shields, right? Because if they don't block, if they don't block attacks, then why have the shield? And if they can block every attack, then what do They're you do? They're super annoying. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but this isn't the first time they they've gone with shielded enemies. Like I, they've managed to succeed with it in the last several games. But uh, yeah. Let's just start killing some guys. No more scooting around. Just guys getting murdered now. Throw out some weapons here. Yeah. Oh, see, the Agents of Doom distract the shield guys. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, the shields just like add kind of one little extra puzzle bit yeah. to the fight, and uh, like it can be, it can be really good. So it does definitely give you a new. It gives the the little minion weapons another layer to them, right? Yeah. Because they attack them and like you know that kind of stuff. So that definitely is is nice. But yeah, I expected that shield to just be cosmetic. I didn't expect it to actually shield anything. Can I hit you with my wrench? Apparently not. No. Also, hammer. All right. How am I supposed to just kill them one on one then? Maybe you have to wait till the attack and then hit them from behind. And like. Yeah. Jump. Because you're in invincible when you do that shadow jump. So maybe you can, like, jump past him. Here's the hurl shot. Hmm. We've got the hurl shot. Now we just have to get across that pirate filled chasm and find the fixer. Oh. <laughs> right? <laughs> I thought that was That funny. is unapologetically cartoony. Yeah, yeah. That's the nice thing about Ratchet is they can be cartoony and they can be not cartoony and they can yeah. work. Uh, Maybe use the uh, uh, pixelizer or something to knock it back off the ledge. Because they got him just standing right there. Oh, see, and the ricochet works too. Oh, okay. I've got the Doom's leveling up pretty fast. It's because it's awesome. Ooh, can I get these guys with the... Apparently you can. That's... That's very satisfying. Yeah, sweeping it over a group is surprisingly satisfying. Oh, there's more pirates. I suppose it's surprising that I am so surprised by that, given that we did it in, in Ratchet 3. But I don't think I ever used it that way. You know, like the upgraded shotgun had that beam that you could yeah. spin around with. Are these enemies? Can I hit them from here? No. All right, where am I going? Hurl shot, I think. Like maybe uh, to your right, to the out right. over the chasm, like behind that. Like is there a hurl shot over here? Oh, yeah, yeah. there it is. Oh, look at all the flying things. That was always like 
you know, on the checklist of things you needed to do to design a ratchet level, one of them was, okay, what's the flying thing right, that's yeah. going to create motion when you're looking out, you know, from a view? And in most of the levels, it was flying cars or the pterodactyls, but every so often you had to come up with something different. Man, those agents of doom, they're putting in work. sad though that it looks like you won't have Mr. Zircon yeah being it there seems, it seems that way because I I just love listening to all of his lines he was always fun oh that's right I have my drill hound that I haven't been using no but I can't use it on the shielded dudes Oh, interesting. So there's an instant where they're vulnerable. Yeah. It seems like that can't be the way they're expecting you to do it, but it might be. I also remember you could, oh, excuse me, that you could throw the wrench while you're moving. Mm -hmm. We, Roger. No, we are not. I do like that they personified the rockets as hell dogs. It's like, why, why bring out rockets when you could bring out a dog? Yeah. You know, it would be nice to have like a little, and this is probably, I could see why people wouldn't do it, but to have a little HUD element that tells you if like your Mr. Fungi is actually deployed and how many agents of doom are still alive. Oh, like be, a little grenade indicator or something? Yeah, just so like, so I know when it's time to redeploy Mr. Fungi or when it's time to throw out a new set of agents of doom. Because the only way to level up these things is by to have them have as much uptime as possible right right um and so making sure that you know you're keeping your uptime it seems like would be a nice little quality of life let's shatter bomb Terrible sea shanties. Are ye sure? It's nice that they went for the trouble of shaping the energy guns like actual cannons. Yeah. I suppose it's also a nice detail that they have nice oars boys. rowing them through Whoa. the air. I'd be happy if I never saw a pirate again. We can now use the hurl shot to reach the fixer. All right, I'm not buying nothing until I buy those. Glad to be of service. I would, I would do the same thing if I were you. Oh. 
it's like there's no gameplay to it, but it's it's cool. Yeah. I like to spin around and jump like that. It's like the bolt crank, right? Like it doesn't need to be. It's not gameplay. It's theatrics. It's just like. Yeah. Just leaving all these crates behind, Tony. No, get them. I'm working on the enemies. On the old videos, it used to drive people crazy when I would shoot the crates with guns. Just wasting ammo? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now that you can throw the wrench without having to stop moving, I don't really need to do it anymore. But every so often, I do it just to piss people off. They, uh, uh, I think just for Teal, made sure that this would be completable wrench and hammer. Oh, that's right. nice of them. Yeah. I think there was one place in the tutorial that when the game shipped, it wasn't beatable wrench only, and then they patched, they patched it, it to be beatable wrench only. Yeah. That feels like a secret over there. But, uh... Hey, they're so cute. With their big, uh, was it Oliver? Who was it? You? I remember you said that you had you got a good tip from somebody that if you need to make something cute, just give them eyes of different sizes. Yeah, right? one eye bigger than the other is always cute. I it might have been Oliver who told me that, but I really took it to heart because I I I say it all the time. It's like, oh, it's, it's easy. Just make it, make one eye bigger. And then one per, one time I was telling this to people, and they didn't believe me. They're like, surely it can't be that easy. So I drew, like, a stick figure happy face, and then I just made one eye a circle <laughs> instead of a dot. And they're just like, oh. <laughs> like, they totally got it. So they got to have, like, the Groovatron in this game, right? It's got to show up at some point. I hope so. It's a difficult weapon to fit into the balancing, so yes. I can see why they want, want might want to wait. So the while. topiary sprinkler kind of fits into that mechanic, right, of just like stopping enemies in their tracks and that kind right. of stuff. So I can see why they don't. If they don't do it, they have a weapon of that type in here already. So I mean, I'm not gonna be missing it, but uh, it was a very good flavor yeah. weapon that they had been introducing. Yeah, it's like. You don't want it to be like one of the first things because uh, like you want to give them weapons that that they can use a lot. Right. Right. And the, the Groovatron, like you have to limit the amount of ammo so that the whole game doesn't become trivial. Jesus Christ, so many guys. So I, I can see why they, if they gave it to you, they'd give it to you later. Maybe it's available in replay. Although I doubt you'd give every enemy in the game a dance animation just for a replay feature. But, I mean, hey. I mean, Insomniac has always gone out all out for New Game Plus. Like, New Game Plus was always a big focus of, uh, of yeah. the games that they've made. Yeah, I mean, it, it would come into the, like, come out of design pretty late, but it was always assumed that there would be some sort of, uh, not a deep replay mode, but you know what I mean, like, uh, uh, a full featured replay mode. Yeah. Is it nice that the game is not slowing down for you now? When it's you... just, it, I was not a fan of it. It kind of, the problem, the problem with it is the nature of the way that it works, it would always happen in combat. Right. So like you're getting into a combat rhythm and then all of a sudden everything like changes on you. See, I always found it helpful because like I would notice it and that would give me a little extra time to aim my next shot and stuff. It's because you never got into a combat rhythm. 
I never got into a combat. Oh, rhythm. rhythm. Oh, rhythm. Oh, yeah. I was spending a lot of time losing. You should try that. It makes things better. Try losing? Yeah. Those, those Agents of Doom, they're not messing around. They're, they're relentless. I hope they give me my bouncer back and take it off that stupid enemy. Why does he get to have a bouncer and I don't get to have a bouncer? <laughs> that is always the problem. Oh. Uh, so that's a secret, I guess. Yeah. All right, we're doing it. Okay. There's a lot of crates. Oh, some me boys. There's something over here. Rare titanium. Yeah, I think you're right. This <coughs> might be a bonus area. That rift effect is really cool. Like when they they start running the rift uh, texture all over everything else. You know where I, you know where I will say that the difference, I can tell a difference on the, uh, I, I'm, I'm the performance. Me, yeah, the yeah performance versus uh, this effect here when you get pulled through the rift is so much smoother. Yes. In this mode. Yeah, because everything's moving. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like that effect is just so much better at sixty frames per second than the other one. Uh, so but none of you are going to be able to see it because we're right. recording at 30 hertz. Uh, but hopefully, that will mean that there will not be any video hitching for you. So hopefully. if there is video hitching, sorry. But we weren't right about to watch these all the way through. We felt like we'd record more of them instead. Oh, here it comes. Right onto the grind rail. Their, their grind rails are so cinematic. Like, it's... Uh, it feels like a lot about it is, like, you're grinding to go fast How more than to, like, fix the fixer? be difficult or ask questions. Like, it's sort of like showing you cool camera views of the Once level, requiring off, inputs every so often, huh. but, like, Let's not... It's just more like a cinematic thing. Yeah. Oh, look, the Iron Giant's awake. Hello? Are you, um, okay? No. I am broken, as is everything. Nothing can be fixed. That's not good. Rat, uh, Rivet does the, the superhero pose quite often. <laughs> They're a big fan of putting her in the superhero pose. Have we not seen Ratchet do the superhero pose yet? I don't believe I have, but maybe I'm just noticing it more with Rivet. I uh, recently, for no good reason, have been watching like clips of Marvel movies on YouTube. Man, the the superhero landing is there a lot. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that's cool. Talking about me. So this is a very niche thing, but I actually I really like it when somebody describes themselves as broken. I don't know why. Oh yeah. But I think it's such a good adjective when people say like I am broken. I don't know. I like it. And he is broken. This is a really good set piece. Yeah. Wow. This is not, this kind of thing is not easy. Like you have to make an enormous level 
you have to sync all of these animations and effects up. Yeah. And, like, none of this is reusable. Right. Oh, I missed it. Oh, oh you got it. It came to you. This is a really good use of the hurl shot. Too. They're, uh, they're auto launching me off the hurl shot to keep the pace what? of the uh, of the level, which they I think is pretty good. They put the grind rail on, on the, the uh, robot. On the guy. That's pretty good. Like I remember when I played through this, but like I wasn't looking at everything because I was playing. Right. Oh my god. Than I was, but you help eyes. I am still clank. I am quite relieved. <sighs> when the bullets asked me to protect them, it opened my eyes to a great many broken things. So very many. And you became distressed. But being able to fix another, to see that all is not lost. How can I ever repay you both? Can you fix this? <laughs> this is a little bit too easy. He is... The fix -it. I suppose. This is his entire job. I mean, if it wasn't that easy, could he really be called the fix -it? I suppose. The gift of hope, it should be I who is thanking you. Hmm. Phew. Let's get back to the ship, shall we? Yes. Oh, that was a quick one. Yeah. Not too bad. Compared to... Uh, a good 40 minutes, though. Let's see if we can... Uh, grab some uh, raritanium, pad this out a bit. That's all the way over there. Well, maybe I can... Let's see where this sends me. Ah. <laughs> to your doom is the answer. No, that's not where I want to go. No! This is not where I want to be. Can you go backwards? That's not right. All right, I don't want to go back. Oh, wait, there's a rift or something over here. Hold on. So there is something. Oh, it's one of those side levels. Yeah, let's do this. Another pocket dimension. Done. I can be persuaded. That's, uh, one last gruesome. What is? I the missed it. The big robot corpse, the ghost <laughs> corpse thing. <laughs> Uh, speedles. Alright, I haven't done okay. speedles in a little while. And this is a side... Yeah. <laughs> Right, and they've got a whole racing like. Oh. This, oh no! What happens? This is really hard. Yes. Uh. Like if I had asked for this, on the PS2 game. Like, it there would have been no point even asking for it. Oh, I missed the jump. Oh, stupid me! I missed the jump right at the end. Oh, uh, so you got to do it again. But like, yeah, I couldn't say. All right, we're going to have a side area that has a racing uh, uh, minigame in it and completely different art than the rest of the level. Yeah. Like, the fact that this has racing in it means that it's incredibly... It requires a huge level. Oh, I think you're owned. Yeah. 
Uh, oh, wait. <laughs> no, you can't checkpoint me here. What am I supposed to do? Oops. You restart from... Oh, if you do that, it'll probably take you here. Okay. Okay, well, this time, win. I'll do my best. You're welcome. Uh, yeah, but, like, we... You just couldn't do this sort of thing without the fast loading, because you have to have it all in memory. Yeah. Or at the very least, you'd need a load between. Right. Yeah. What were you going to say? No, I, th I think it's just it's just one of those things. That it's not even just like... It also goes to show just how much work they... Like, it's this is a lot of work to put something in. you got to put a designer on this. You have to design the whole thing. You have to build it all together. Someone's got to come up with an art set for it that yeah. has all the pieces you need in order to do a racing segment. Uh, it just kind of goes to show how much they were willing to put into making sure that everything was, like, you know, tip-top. Yeah, I think I read somewhere that they had three years that they were working on this, and it shows, right? Like, they... You can see where the work went. Yeah. That is a good question, Ribbit. Where is the exit? Oh, probably there. That's a nice little shortcutting device. Like, we always had to put shortcuts back to the beginning, and sometimes it would sort of stretch belief a little bit. You right. Know? It'll be like, okay, well, we've already used a teleporter, and we've already used a taxi, and then you grind rail at another one, so, like, what are we going to do for... Yeah. No. Once you used the teleporter in the taxi, there was not a lot left for you. Okay, this says... What's that? That's a teleporter, so I think okay. if I just go a little bit farther, I'll be able to teleport back. So you've played this for a good amount of time now. What's What's been like your favorite thing? That's a good question. Um, so I think they're doing a really good job of, uh, I, I think the characters are all really good. I think yeah. the, the writing on this one is fairly solid. It's not a complicated story, but it's a well-told story. Yeah, and uh, I don't know if Ratchet's really where you want your complicated stories. Right, 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 right. yeah. yeah. Um, all the guns feel... The gunplay feels really good. Like it, So, <clears throat> this is actually... I'll, I'll walk around a little bit while we talk about this, but this was another sort of comment uh, that I think I saw on one of our one of our early videos, where I saw somebody say that it just didn't feel like Ratchet. Like, I think that was one of their comments. It didn't, it didn't, it feel, didn't like feel like the old Ratchet game. Huh. Well, yeah, not like the old one. And so I think one of the things that was interesting is I, I understand where they're coming from because when I first picked up the game, the timings were off. Every All the timings just felt off a little bit. Like, I, I couldn't get into a rhythm. Uh -huh. I didn't feel like, you know, it didn't feel very smooth. But once I've had the controller in my hands for a little while, and I go in there and I've been doing the work, um, like, I get it. It's starting to feel natural again. But if you're coming off of, if you're just coming off of having played the old games, it takes some time to sort of relearn how everything's supposed to feel, all the timings, the way the guns. We were talking in those early episodes, like the half squeezes on the... Uh, on the on the weapons right yeah and you have to relearn like when i was first using the shotgun the shotgun has two modes where it was just like you half squeeze to pull to shoot once and then you full squeeze to shoot again and when i first got the shotgun i was just like oh well double squeeze is yeah. always just always just pulled down all the way and then i was as i was playing i was like that's actually terrible because that extra shot is keeping you in place from reloading and because after you shoot it does a little reload stuff before it can shoot again um and if you're always going to double down it's just making it harder to get into the rhythm uh -huh. of the combat so now that i've had my now that i'm able to play for a, play it for a little while 
I'm getting back into the rhythm of combat, and it's feeling really good, and I'm really enjoying it. And you didn't play a lot of the post PlayStation Two Ratchets, right? I did not. Like which one? You you played uh, 2016 Ratchet 2016. Yes, I did play Ratchet 2016. Did you play any of the PlayStation Three ones? Um, I played Crack in Time. Right. Okay. Uh, I think that was the only one that I really played. I played Tools all the way through, and I I think I got like part of the way through Crack in Time. Uh, but the and 2016 I played so. Uh, actually, I played um, what was the pirate one? Quest for Booty. Oh yeah. Uh huh. So I've played some of them, and the, it has evolved over time, like the the feel of it. Uh, so I guess since I had played more of that, I was probably a little more used to the post PS2 era. But I like it. Like uh, there were a lot of things that we. We, we made them the way they were on the PlayStation 2 because that was how we had to. Uh -huh. It was the only way we could think of doing it. Uh, and so in some cases, like, they've had a better idea or they've tried another way. And, yeah, it just... It, I guess it doesn't bother me because, you know, I didn't play those games when I was a kid. Right. Right. It wasn't like... Uh, uh, you know, going back and it being different. But, like, Mario Odyssey was a very different game than Super Mario Brothers was. And that doesn't bother me, right? It just changes over time. Uh, and there's another thing. I think we talked about it. We talked about this off-camera, which I think was very interesting, was when I first started playing... Uh, and th it, this all happens behind the scenes, is that um, it automatically puts you into lock strafe mode when there's enemies about... Right. Like, like normally you're just in normal third person mode, and then the minute enemies show up and you go into combat, it just puts you into lock strafe mode. And I thought that was not going to be good. I want. I was looking for a setting and like just put me in lock strafe mode all the time. I don't want to trust the game to do it. Uh -huh. But it is seamless and perfect. Like I've never feel like I should be in lock strafe mode when I'm not. And I didn't I, even notice they did that. Yeah. I thought I thought it was just because I was using the weapons, like uh, holding the triggers down and stuff. Well, that is one way to go into lock strafe mode, right? If you if you t if you tap the button down a little bit, you go into lock strafe mode. But it also just does it automatically. Interesting. And the fact that I didn't notice is a point in its favor. Yeah. Because that's the sort of thing you wouldn't want someone to notice. So yeah, I mean, I think there's a lot of good little details. I'm enjoying the game uh, a ton. It's been really fun. Uh, Rivet has been. Uh, everything I wanted from the character. Um, I wish I had a little bit more weapon selection at this point, if I was going to look for a criticism. Oh, you mean like... A but this is a little... This is me. That's that's my fault, right? More slots I'm, on the I'm, wheel? No, no, no. Just more weapons. Because, like, 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 I've leveled up the Negatron Collider. I've leveled up the Executor. I'm working on some of these other weapons, and they're fine. I don't mind these weapons. <clears throat> but I wish I had more weapons to cycle through and just play around with a little bit. But this is my fault. I'm not buying all the weapons from the vendor. I'm saving up for the ones that I really like. You know, that kind of thing. Um, not doing the mining or the, the optional stuff yeah. that would help you get more weapons. Yeah. I'm, I, I think by this point I did have more weapons. But See, because, yeah, I look, I'm not, I'm not holding the... The, the triggers at all, and I'm just in lock strafe mode. Just what happens if you use the if you if you do a wrench strike here? If I'm in the wrench, I'm back into normal third person. Okay. So at what point does it put you? The minute I pull, pull out pull a, a the minute I pull out a gun and there's an enemy nearby, oh. I just go into lock strafe mode. That's, it's it's crazy. It's seamless. Yeah. Yeah. You, I didn't you, even you it don't happening. notice it until I noticed it, and I was just like, oh, yeah, I'm just in lock strafe mode whenever there's an enemy around, and it's kind of it's it's interesting and well done. Yeah, because changing control schemes like that is hard. That's, uh, I you know what? I don't know if if I would have believed that that would work until you just told and me. And that's when I saw that it was happening. That's why I just went looking for the option. I'm like, I don't want to trust the game. I don't want to trust the game to keep switching my control mode around. But it it works. It works yeah. really well. Uh, and good on them for putting that in. I wonder how long they've been doing that. Uh, because if I didn't, you know, they, for all I know, they started on the PS3 games doing it, but I, I wasn't paying attention. That's a good feature. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. Let's see. Do we have an outro cutscene here, or are we just going to... Nope. It looks like we just have the Ratchet mission left. All right. 
But uh, yeah, I think we can cut this one short. This was a good, a good traversal level. We haven't had like a full traversal level yet. Yeah, and this was a very good one. Stream and that shots, was grind rails, and uh, spinning them all together yeah. with a giant set piece boss. Like, I th they're continuing to impress me with their opulence. Yeah, right. Like how how much they are willing to do. Like this stuff is hard, and it takes a lot of people doing a lot of work to do any of this and it looks easy right and i know none of it was yeah 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 <laughs> like so yeah well done uh yeah so i guess we're done with this episode i then. think so all right so for uh definitely not developer commentary my name is mike stout i'm tony garcia and we'll see you next time